Fun fact, a single exploding star can shine brighter than an entire galaxy. Many scientists and the general public alike are eagerly awaiting to see the demise of a star. However, it's very rare that we human beings can come across an event as extraordinary as an exploding star. But recent research shows that we just might be a bit luckier than our predecessors. Get ready to embark on an extraordinary journey as we unveil the secrets of Betelgeuse, a red supergiant star just 640 light years away, which might brighten our entire galaxy very soon. How do stars explode? Nebulae are huge clouds of gas and dust in which stars are formed. These clouds can collapse under their own gravity, causing everything that's within them to come together and form a star. But something extraordinary takes place at the core of a star. Helium is found when hydrogen atoms collide and fuse under extreme pressure and temperature conditions. This process, known as nuclear fusion, gives off a lot of heat and light energy. It keeps the star shining bright, like a nuclear furnace that never stops. Layers of gas and plasma are present inside a star. Temperatures and pressures vary between these layers. Let's now concentrate on a specific layer known as the convective zone. The gas is constantly swirling and moving in this area. It transfers heat from the star's core to its surface as it moves around. The star is surrounded by energy waves that are created by this convective motion. These waves, also known as the fundamental mode of pulsation, are responsible for the star's slight expansion and contraction. The star seems to be breathing. This is where things get slightly interesting. The duration of the pulse is known as the period. The period is the amount of time it takes for a star to complete one whole pulsation cycle. Like a heartbeat, stars have their own rhythm. Astronomers can learn a lot about a star's internal structure and properties by studying the pulsation period. Through its synchronized pulsations, it appears as though the star is revealing its secrets. The star's mass is one of the most important properties that astronomers can learn about. Through empirical relationships between a star's luminosity and its pulsation characteristics, astronomers are able to estimate the star's mass. Numerous aspects of a star's life cycle and composition are affected by its mass. The mass also influences its internal structure, temperature, luminosity, and evolutionary path. It also plays a crucial role in finding out the star's composition of gases inside it. Hydrogen is one of the many gases present in the composition, which is referred to as the fuel of the star. Massive stars generally have a higher proportion of hydrogen compared to other elements. This knowledge is crucial because the abundance of hydrogen affects the star's fusion reactions and energy production. By understanding the mass and hydrogen content of a star, astronomers can classify it into different stellar types, which provides further information into its behavior, lifespan, and destined fate, including the possibility of a supernova explosion. But here's the catch. Bigger the star, the greater the mass, shorter the lifespan. That's sort of confusing, right? Let us break it down for you. As the mass of the star is greater, the gravitational pull of it is also proportionally larger. In addition to that, it also has a higher core temperature, which results in more intense nuclear reactions and faster consumption of hydrogen fuel. Massive stars, known as high-mass stars, have a higher fusion rate due to their greater gravitational pressure. When compared to smaller stars, they consume their hydrogen fuel at a much faster rate. This leads to the lifespan of a high-mass star being much shorter, ranging from a few million to a few tens of millions of years. On the other hand, smaller stars, also known as low-mass stars, consume their hydrogen fuel more slowly and have lower fusion rates. They therefore have longer lifespans, sometimes lasting billions of years. A low-mass star like our own Sun, for instance, has a lifespan of approximately 10 billion years. So taking everything into account, the star is at a balance right now. Nuclear fusion energy pushes outward, preventing the star from collapsing, while gravity pulls everything inward in an attempt to make it collapse. The star's stability and steady illumination last millions or even billions of years thanks to this equilibrium. But just like everything else in the universe, stars only have so much fuel. This fuel is mostly hydrogen in the case of massive stars. The balance begins to shift as the star consumes its hydrogen. Gravity slowly takes over as less fuel is available for nuclear fusion. Under the relentless pull of gravity, the star's core begins to shrink as hydrogen runs out. The core experiences even more heat and pressure as a result of this contraction, which causes heavier elements like helium, carbon, and oxygen to fuse. Iron and other even heavier elements are formed as this process continues further. 
Now here is where it gets critical. When it comes to nuclear fusion, iron causes a little bit of trouble. The fusion of iron in contrast to the lighter elements does not release energy. It actually absorbs it. As a result, the equilibrium is completely disrupted when the core of a star becomes predominantly iron. The core collapses inward at an astonishing rate as gravity triumphs. The release of energy causes a shockwave that spreads throughout the star, resembling an implosion of the star. A supernova, a spectacular explosion, occurs when the outer layers of the star are violently ripped off by this shockwave. The star temporarily shines brighter than entire galaxies as a result of the enormous amount of energy released during the explosion. The resultant supernova explosion is a stunning spectacle that disperses elements throughout space and enriches the universe with the elements that will form more stars and galaxies in the future. Has a supernova ever been seen or recorded? Let's go back to 1604, when the German astronomer Johannes Kepler saw this amazing cosmic display. This celestial wonder that Kepler observed was not unique. The same awe-inspiring sight was observed by skywatchers in Asia, Europe, and the Middle East. They had no idea that they were witnessing a star's catastrophic demise, as it unleashed an explosion unlike any other they had ever seen. This was the last known supernova to occur within our own Milky Way galaxy. Obviously, since then, other nearby supernovas may have occurred, but they may have been obscured from our view by intervening gas and dust clouds. Despite this, astronomers have been able to examine the relics of previous supernova explosions, providing a window into the stellar confetti displays of the past. Take, for instance, the captivating Crab Nebula, a celestial spectacle produced by an explosion of a supernova that first appeared to us in the year 1054. In 1987, we were treated to another supernova event in the large Magellanic Cloud, a small companion galaxy to our Milky Way. It was given the name 1987A. We now know more about these cosmic spectacles thanks to the advanced telescopes we have, which also allow us to be able to observe the numerous supernovas in far-flung galaxies. Now change the timeline to the present day. The next nearby supernova is being eagerly anticipated by astronomers all over the world. Since Kepler's time, we have made incredible progress in observational tools and methods. The powerful telescopes that we now have are able to pick up visible light, so we can see a supernova like we were right there with these amazing events. But that's not all. Among our scientific tools are infrared telescopes which can see the light that can't be seen by humans. We are able to see through the cosmic fog of gas and dust that frequently obscures these fascinating events by observing in the infrared spectrum, revealing celestial phenomena that would otherwise remain hidden from view. The potential to capture not only electromagnetic radiation but also other signals released during a supernova explosion is one of the most exciting prospects for astronomers. For instance, we now have detectors that are capable of capturing the elusive neutrinos, which are particles that are released in vast numbers during supernova events. Because neutrinos can be detected hours or days before the visible explosion, they can even provide us with an early warning of a supernova. It's exciting to think about the possibility of capturing neutrinos, electromagnetic waves, and even gravitational waves during a supernova explosion. This would give us a lot of information and a new perspective on these cosmic events. Are we ever going to see a supernova? We won't have to worry about never experiencing a supernova event in our lifetime. According to recent research, there's a good chance a star might be exploding soon, and we're going to be around to observe that amazing sight. This is where Betelgeuse comes into play. Betelgeuse is a high-mass star found in the constellation Orion, located at the eastern shoulder of the Hunter. It's about 700 times the size of our 5 billion year old Sun and only about 10 million years old. Astronomers and sky watchers have been captivated for centuries by this red supergiant star, which is one of the closest to our Earth. It is just 640 light years away. In addition to its distinctive color, Betelgeuse's brightness makes it particularly easy to identify in the night sky with the naked eye. It is ranked as the sky's 10th brightest star and is between 7,500 and 14,000 times brighter than the Sun. Betelgeuse stands out from other stars because of its impending fate. It is on the verge of a massive supernova explosion. Despite its vast distance, its long-awaited explosion has the potential to make it as bright as a full moon. Scientists and the general public have been captivated by the prospect of experiencing such an astronomical spectacle during daylight hours. The timing of Betelgeuse's impending supernova has intensified in recent years. 
Significant fluctuations in the star's brightness have been observed by astronomers since 2019, prompting speculation regarding its eventual demise. A groundbreaking study that was published on June 1, 2023 sheds new light on this cosmic mystery. The study, which was led by Hideyuki Sayo from Tohoku University in Japan, investigates the idea of stellar nucleosynthesis, which is the process that makes the stars shine. Through the fusion of simpler atoms into more complex ones, stars like Betelgeuse shine and produce energy. However, a supernova explosion is inevitable as a star's nuclear fuel depletes. The study suggests that Betelgeuse is a strong candidate for the next galactic supernova, as the composition of hydrogen in the core has depleted significantly. So, how long until the next supernova? Understanding the pulsation period of Betelgeuse provides a clue to the timeline of this event. Betelgeuse's pulsation period is approximated to be in four different cycles. 2,200 days, 420 days, 230 days, and 185 days. Initially, it is believed that the 420 days is the fundamental mode, while the 420 and 230 day period cycles are known as the overtones. The 2200 day cycle is known as the long secondary pulse. This means that it takes 420 days for it to go through the one expansion and contraction cycle. This shows us that the approximate time for Betelgeuse to go supernova will take between 10,000 to 100,000 years. However, with a series of research and observation done by the study led by Hideyuki Sayo, they were able to determine that the fundamental mode of pulsation of Betelgeuse might actually be 2,200 days instead of the 420 days known as before. The other three cycles, according to the study, are believed to be the overtones. This suggests that the time for Betelgeuse to go supernova might be just tens of years, meaning we might be able to see this extraordinary event in our lifetime. More eyebrows were raised when the star experienced a significant dimming event in late 2019, which was given the name the Great Dimming of Betelgeuse. This event was eagerly anticipated by astronomers all over the world because they believed it to be a sign of the star's impending explosion. Betelgeuse, on the other hand, defied expectations by regaining its brightness and then varying it. Betelgeuse had undergone a remarkable transformation. According to analyses carried out with the help of the Hubble Space Telescope and other observatories owned by NASA, it had lost a lot of its visible surface, which culminated in a rare event called a surface mass ejection, SME. The expulsion of an astonishing amount of mass, approximately 400 billion times greater than a typical coronal mass ejection from our Sun, was the cause of the Great Dimming, which was unlike anything previously observed in a typical star. What will happen to Earth when Betelgeuse does go supernova? When Betelgeuse finally explodes, it will be an extraordinary sight in the night sky, captivating observers on Earth. Despite its immense brightness, there is no need to worry about any harm to our planet or life on it. Studies indicate that we would need to be within approximately 160 light years of a supernova for it to pose a threat to us, and Betelgeuse is much farther away, roughly 640 light years. Hence, we don't have to worry as the distance of Betelgeuse from the Earth is sufficient to keep us safe. Earth's magnetic field will deflect any energetic particles that might reach us, and the density of high-energy radiation will be low due to the star's considerable distance. We are roughly 10 times too far away to experience any direct repercussions from the explosion. The explosion of Betelgeuse will result in a remarkably bright star, visible even during the day. It will shine with an intensity comparable to the full moon, casting its brilliance for many months. However, unlike the moon, Betelgeuse's brightness will be concentrated in a single point source rather than spread across its entire surface. This concentration of light could potentially be dangerous to observe through a telescope at its peak brightness. Nonetheless, the visual spectacle will be truly awe-inspiring. Betelgeuse will shine brightly, competing with the moon as the second brightest object in the sky. In fact, it may even become the brightest object in the night sky, excluding the moon, for more than a year before gradually fading into a fainter state. Witnessing such a cosmic event from Earth will undoubtedly be one of the most spectacular occurrences in the realm of astronomy. Who knows what other extraordinary things take place in our ever-growing universe? Anyways, that's all we've got for you today. If you like it and want to learn more jaw-dropping facts about the darkness outside our planet, drop a like and consider subscribing. See you in the next one.